so hello my wonderful viewers welcome back to my channel so we are here at the palma beach so we are here on our weekly sunday cleaning exercise that we do normally every sunday so if you are new here i am by mustafa so what i would like from you is to hit the subscription button turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified anytime i upload a new video in youtube so if you are new here also like we started a new project which is called clean the gambia so we initiated this project basically to inspire people and to motivate people to clean the environment to keep the country clean like we want the gambia to be clean like other african countries and other countries in the world so we bring this we are doing this in a series on my youtube channel so that when people from other parts of the country see the videos they will also gather they are gathered the youth together and they will clean the environment so that's why we are doing this in series for in youtube so this is the ninth sunday of the cleaning exercise series so we have dropped eight episodes so if this is the first episode you have started watching you can go back to my channel you will see the other eight episodes you know you can also check out episodes because we did that episodes in different parts of the country you know? so we did our first at Jabang other places at Lamin, other places at Abu Koy. So if you go there, you will see all those places. Yeah, and also we are raising money so that we can buy trash cans and put it in public places. So the reason we are raising this money, like if we buy trash cans, if we put it in public places, we will minimal littering around the environment. You know? Because for me, I think if people, the reason why people are throwing trash all over the place is because there are not trash cans at public places. You know. So if they don't see trash cans, obviously they will throw it on the ground. But if we have trash cans in the uh, public places, or even at the beach side here, or in uh, like markets or other environments, if we have trash cans there, if people buy something or when they want to throw something, they will just go to the trash can and they just go and throw it there. You know. But if trash cans are not available, like it will be very difficult to control litter. You know, there will be littering all over the place. You know. So that's why we are raising this money so that we can buy trash cans. You know. So the GoFundMe link is in the description box. We have any means that you can send money with. We have all those means, you know. Yeah. So if you don't have GoFundMe, if you want to send a uh, donate to the, our project, now like you can contact me. You can message me on my Instagram. Everything is in the description box. So if you check the description box, you will see how you can contact us. You, know. you can also follow our. Clean the, you can follow Clean the Gambia on Instagram. You can message us there. You or you can follow my social media handles. You can personally message me there. Or the, you can follow the uh, Clean the Gambia. Any platform you go, if you just click, click Clean the Gambia, like you will see our social media handles on Facebook and Instagram, even in TikTok. Even. Yeah. So basically, that's what we are. So we are here at Palma. So I will advise the people that normally come to the beach side. Let them avoid littering around the beach. When they come for Sunday beaches, like with their family or friends, when they come with their food, let them like gather their stuff and put it in their cars. When they go home, they throw it in their trash cans. You know? But you see uh, trash is all over the place. You see empty, empty plastics. You see cups. You see bowls. You see everything around the beach here. You know? So that's what we are trying to like avoid you know so we are sensitizing the people like i'm telling everyone if you are seeing this video if you come to the beach side and if you come with your food please don't throw nothing around the beach side here, you know. go with your stuff at your home and you place it in your trash cans or in your beans you know yeah so let's do this together let's keep the country clean like tourism contribute 25 percent to the country's gdp you know so this our beaches are a form of attraction for tourism you know so if our beaches are not killing, like it will be very difficult to attract tourism. You know? So as you know, most of the income that we have in this country is mostly received through tourism. So if our beaches are not killing, like it will not attract tourism. You know? So we should try and keep our beaches clean so that like we can generate the income that we should generate from tourism. You know? Yeah. So so that when everyone visit our beaches, like they will have the impression that like our beaches are clean and our beaches are the best beaches. But we have beautiful sandy beaches. If the beaches are not clean, like what uh, make, it will not make sense, you know. We have beautiful climate. We have beautiful sandy beaches, which is a ve very good recipe for tourism. So if our beaches are not clean, like that is a minus to us, you know. So if we keep the beaches clean, like it will be very good. It will be very. It will like 
it will boost the tourism industry so i will also like if the tour i'm also i also want the tourism industry also to look into this matter like they should try and coordinate with the council so that they can like make rules around the beach like let, let no let people not litter around the beach you know because the tourism industry also is responsible for the beauty for the sandy beaches you know so i will advise them also to consider this you know? yeah. Uh, this is a very good initiative as I cleaned Gambia. They are at the beach right now doing some cleaning exercise. It's very, very good because cleanliness is next to godliness. And secondly, uh, cleaning your environment will help at least ease the burden of going to the hospital because it's healthy. Mosquitoes will go away, you know. So it's a very good initiative that they've taken. So I'm urging all the Gambians to come forward and at least be clean their environment. It's very, very good. Uh, good morning wonderful viewers uh, clean the gambia is back again this time around we are at the beach site uh, doing our doing our cleaning exercise that is our sunday cleaning exercise and then uh, we are i can say we are very 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 much delighted to be here yeah <laughs> so we are here as you can see we are doing the cleaning exercise uh, picking the uh, some of the leaders around that are on the beach side uh, if you look at the beach side, you know, it is, especially here, it is somehow deep, you know, uh, we were, you know, picking some of the uh, trusses there. I think some people came there for picnic and then they threw all those uh, rubbish there. Yeah, so uh, these are some of the things that we are, you know, trying to eradicate. Uh, we should try by all means to eradicate it because, because it is keeping our um, beach very, very dirty. So. 
uh, I will advise all those who normally come to the beach side for picnic or other stuff. If you come to the beach side, you eat something, please. You came with bags, put them in bags, collect all the trashes, you put them in bags. Then you return them back to your homes, you put them in where you normally put your uh, trashes. Try to put them there. Or you find a place where you can uh, put those trashes there, but don't throw it around the beach side. You know, these are, this is a place where people normally use. People use it every day. Even in this morning, we came and then we find, you know, people here doing physical exercises and other stuff. You know, so this is something that we have to try and then stop it. We have to try and stop it. You cannot come to the beach, eat uh, whatever you want to eat, and then throw the trashes anywhere you want to, and then go home like that. No, no, no. Let's try to put a stop to it. Yes, huh? Let's try to put a stop to it, and then try to keep our beach clean so that we can have a conducive and and and, and, and conducive environment and conducive beach where we will be able to. Uh, do our uh, exercises and then try to come and then enjoy the sea breeze <laughs> at the beach side yeah so let's try please huh? i will advise all those you know i will repeat it again i will advise all those who normally come to the beach to do their picnic let them gather their trashes and then go home with it or let them put it because around there i think there is kmc trash cans there so you can just put it there and then you move on yeah so let's keep our beach clean you know so that you know our animals also will be able to live there you know peacefully thank you Do you think like this content, if this cleaning exercise is thoroughly exercise, can be like a uh, country like Rwanda or let's say Ivory Coast? Of course. One of yes, because Gambia is very small and it is it is going to be way better, uh, easier to clean the Gambia compared to those other countries because those other countries have like bigger areas and if those bigger areas are able to be clean, then Gambia can be cleaner. Everybody, you know, come together as one and just desire to have a together environment. Okay, what what mechanism do you think uh, people who are living around this area can do to make this uh, place clean? I think self discipline. Self discipline is is it like if you uh, discipline yourself not to litter around and discipline your kids also teach them how to be self discipline not to litter okay. around okay. then. Uh, I think if I do that and you do that and this one does it, then it's going to be better. And then we work on sensitization, like reminding people of what's good and what's bad, even though they know what is good and bad. Okay, Clean the Gambia is here to uh, clean the country, to help people, to sensitize people, to stop the death. But uh, you have seen, sometimes you see people, you know, this vehicle, we normally throw litters. Like when you take ice, you just throw it, throw it through the window. 
So what do you have to tell the uh, to tell the best people? I think I have to tell them to uh, think of the consequences. Like if you throw litters around, what if what if you have an animal? For example, if you if you throw an um, after drinking like this ice cream or something. And you just throw the plastic bag on the streets, and you have an animal that you bought with a very like large amount of money, and the animal just comes and consumes that plastic bag and dies. How would you feel? That that is that alone is just one uh, something that can that should awaken those people. Yeah, I think. Okay. Hello viewers, today we are at the Palmarima beach and then we are here to, clean, to do our weekly cleaning exercise and we have one of the members here, Dudu say, Dudu, what yeah. do you have to tell uh, the people who normally come here for picnic and then throw the trash here? Good morning everyone, just glad to join this cleaning exercise today too, that is the ninth Sunday, yeah. today is the ninth Sunday of the cleaning, yeah. I'm really glad like, like, the progress is going on. And my only advice I get for this picnic guys and then the big wheel lottery is, is that any trace you, you, you left to the beach is going to be left there un unless people come and clean it for you. So the best thing is for you to do is if you come with your materials, you eat after eating, pack them. If you cannot pack them one at one place and throw it even near here and burn them. You can pack them, go with them to your houses. Because the beach is no one's area. So if you leave it here, it will be here. It will be here, it will be here and pollute the environment. So let's be very careful on what we throw and what we do. Selenting kodang ke, cleaning di Gambia. Tolong murunda nale kodang ke Palmari bab di Jokang. Nada kena Sunday cleaning exercise ke Waldo. Member dosa kali ini kita hadim banyak. Hai, selenting di the big side, the cleaning lagi. And then bilah pelajaran hari kita jadi nyam. So itu yang kita sebab itu pun mula milih alam ko. Kita nak piknik lagi yang dia demo nanti kita fail. Kita lihat bilah tu kan kan. Kita muka bilah tu lagi apa? Jika cikin nak kenyut pun kau milik kau nak beli, itu faham ni. So ini yang mina sana memang follow mule. Ah okay. Nang aku mencerap memang follow jemaah mule. Kalau nak nata big side, alam itu nak nara, al nak lab bagu ini nana. Kalau maybe al nak lab buat aku pun dengar ini nana. Dah mian nak lab demo rokerak, al kalau tu mula kiri. Nal tara, nal kiri tara, maybe nak lab jongko jarak. Ale dos bino jarak. Al sakit nak pun, kalau nak terus orang ni apa yang dalam balik tu. Kalau ibadah lah sa. Big, 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 big,
na big side abe no la baje ni de adam ni afay ni do fana adam afay ye baje la say na big side wa bebe no la so mo ma adam ye fay ro biere ni bi ak wonyam kay na bi joro kay mo ta sikalante le jam ni na ran ka fay ye kay mo ta sikalante le mo ta mo ta mo jo no jam ni bi na jam kay jara ka jam ka jam ki mo le ko ka so na ka ta baje ngol avoy tu ge da ni ngol ni del bi amu ta nyama rek baje la say ndax tambul na wol be kera ya wala bi So we are done now. So as my colleagues they are saying that we are advising anyone that is coming to the beach or that have been coming to the beach. If you come with your friends, like if you have, if you come with the food stuff, don't throw the remains in the beach side. You know? Like we should try and keep the environment clean, keep the beach clean. You know? So we have been doing this in many Sundays. So as I was saying, you can like support this project by many means. You can support the project by sharing the videos. You can support the project by being present in the crowd. You can support the project by being like donating money to our GoFundMe account. As I tell you, we want to buy trash cans, trash cans and put it, put it in public places. You know. So if you have trash cans all over the public places, like we will not, like people will not litter around the environment. You know. So if we have that, we can keep the environment clean. You know. So let's try and help each other so that we can keep and maintain the environment. Clean. So next Sunday also we will be coming back to this big Palma here. So we will start from where we stop today. When we come next next week we will start from that bridge going towards that other end. Yeah. So we will like need people's presence in the ground so that the work will be very easy for us. Yeah. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share that video. So we'll be doing this in every Sunday. So we will need your presence in the ground. We will need you to share that video. We will need your support in sharing the go for meeting so that we can be able to attain the goal that we want to achieve. You know? Yeah, so thank you for watching this.